do a quick tutorial just on creating a smoke effect in Flash. Now I've got a, an animation that I'm working on here and I'm wanting to have some smoke coming out of a, a chimney here. So here's how I'm going to do that. First of all I've got my new layer called smoke right because I've already made this effect on the, the left hand side of the animation so I'm needing it on the right now so I've made the the, the layer I'm just going to come up and insert a, a new symbol and just make this a, a movie clip smoke right call it you don't have to have an object to actually uh, make a, a symbol, you can just make a, sim a blank symbol and, and work on its uh, structure from there. So, first thing I'm going to do then is uh, just actually, let's see, let's get the, the brush tool and I'm just going to take a nice dark smoke colour and just just create a little blob there I'll do it and then just take uh, another lighter colour just add a couple of marks inside that and same again just take a, another couple of lighter ones as well and then finally just a couple of white ones yeah so that's really all you you need to do so if I come back to my scene now Open up my library, come down to my library objects. I've got this object here on the, the right hand side, or it's called smoke, right? So I'm just going to click, hold, and drag it across and drop it there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just come to filters and I'm going to just click down here and apply a blur and I'm going to just change that blur let's see up to something that gives it a bit of a, a blurred look so that looks okay change the quality here as well so usually means you can play around with it a bit better so that looks fine there let's see let me just get back to the start of the animation here. So I've got that there and that's my, my first position so all I'm going to do now is just click a, 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 a keyframe here and then what I can do is I can move the the smoke up a little bit Let's see there and I'm going to actually just transform it a little as well so I'll make a bit of a rotation on it and also I'm going to just change the the blur as well so I'm just going to blur it a little there Now if I just come a bit further along now and I make another oh, make another keyframe and again just pull the smoke up. Let's just put it there, just going out of the side of the screen and 
let's just rotate it a little again. And again I'm just going to change the, the blur. You can actually just let's actually increase it as well in size just so it's a bit bigger. There we go. So now that I've got that set up, all I'm going to do is just select the, the frames that I've set up and then I can just right click and I'm going to create a classic tween. So there we go. Now I've set up the, the loop up here uh, with the loop feature and just selected the, the frames that I need. So it's just to have a quick look at what it looks like. So there we go. It's running a bit slow with the with the frames, but as you can see, that's really sort of how how to make a, a smoke effect, and you can play around with that yourself. There it is. There's a bit quicker. So yeah, give that a shot and see how you get on. <laughs> 